Amazon.com for tickets. Is it someone's birthday? Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship Back here golf course. Inside Vision you can find out more Arena. at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At the ice here inside Vision's Veterans Memorial Arena. Let's go through some stats, shall we? Get a look there on your screen at the fantastic Gus Ford. Last night, not only continuing his point streak and upping it to a 21 game stretch, but setting a new franchise record for points. Last night, breaking his own record, which stood at 84, up to 85, took that puck right back to the hotel. He'll take that home and put that in his trophy case. 85 points already breaking his own single season record. And we just have, still have a couple of months left here in this regular season. Last night, one of the bigger stories, Mario Cavallari, who stopped 41 of 44 shots in the victory last night for Carolina, the four to three victory. Mario in his last five games, well, he's won all five of them and he stopped 167 of 177 shots faced. He's only given up 10 goals against in his last five games. Pretty darn good job by the marvelous Mario Cavallari, who you see there in front of the background of the brick wall. That yeah, he's I, I could say we think we could say he's properly represented that just a bit. On the other side of things, Yuri Pastuka is red hot. Seven goals in his last seven games, including the hat trick a week ago tonight against the Mississippi Sea Wolves or a week ago last night against the Mississippi Sea Wolves. And then the goal on Saturday night, four goals last weekend, seven in his last seven, looking to continue that trend tonight as the Thunderbirds in this battle of the race for home ice. And the 2023 upcoming Commissioner's Cup playoffs. You see Columbus there after the shootout loss last night. Up to 31, 6, and 3, a 750 winning percentage, 90 standings points, and the plus 91 goal differential. Now, bear in mind the tiebreakers that are at stake here. It's points, then to overall wins, then to win percentage, then to head to head record, then to goal differential. Last night was the first meeting between the two teams you see there at the below the red line. Again, that red line in the middle of your screen determines which two teams get home ice throughout the duration of the playoffs and which two teams get home ice throughout at least the first two rounds. Carolina has now the three-point advantage and the advantage in win percentage on Binghamton and a 1-0 record against them head-to-head -head after last night's victory. Danbury sits 29-6-5, 708 win percentage and a plus 55 goal differential, but three, five points back of Columbus for first overall in the league. And with Columbus off tonight, Danbury will look to not have an off night against the Port Huron Prowlers. They beat them four to one last night. Looking to continue that trend. And if they can pick up three points off an idle Columbus, that would help them out greatly. And you see Carolina, if they can pick up three points tonight on an idle Columbus, that would be good for them. Not just to keep pace in the race for home ice, but also to keep pace in the Continental Division. Carolina nine points back of Columbus right now. A win tonight would bring them six points back and they could be 
just one regulation win. With, uh, everything goes according to plan. Not trying to jinx anything, but if everything goes according to plan, Carolina could be three points back of Columbus. A regulation win back come next weekend when they head to Motor City to face the Motor City Rockers. Take a time out here in our Honda Canada Winston-Salem pregame show on WTOB 980 AM and 96.7 FM in the Triad. 1470 WWBG AM Greensboro around the clock on WTOB 980.com and around the world on the WTOB radio app. We're also live here on Thunderbirds TV. And a special shout out to all, of, all, though, all those of you talking way too fast that the game hasn't even started. All those of you watching at our official Thunderbirds watch party from Gatsby's in downtown Winston-Salem. Hope you enjoy this one tonight. It's going to be a good one. Thunderbirds and Black Bears second of three on the weekend between two of the league's four best teams. Something's got to give again tonight. Tight checking one a night ago. And tonight, these two teams ready to go back at it in one of the better barns in the league. Fun place to play, fun place to call a game, and it's going to be a fun one to watch. Stick around, we got more starting lineups and more after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Today's reaching higher. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect. Arena as we continue to get you set for FPHL action between the Carolina Thunderbirds and the Binghamton Black Bears. Binghamton tonight starting Josh Newberg, Tyson Kirkby, Don Oliveri, Jake Schultz, and Justin Coachman in between the pipes tonight for the Binghamton Black Bears. For Carolina, same old, same old. Mario Cavalieri's in the net. Bringing with him that 5-0 record and all those saves he's brought with him in that time period as you'll get another look at the marvelous Mario and his stats here. Last five games, 5-0 and 167 saves on 177 shots faced. And it's actually going to be Riley McVay back in net tonight for the Big Black Blackbear. Scratch that. Tyler Urich will be the other forward tonight for the Binghamton Black Bears. For Carolina, Dawson Baker, Gus Ford, and Josh Keplinger will represent the top line tonight once again. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the same starters as last night as well. Second line of Yuri Pastuka, John Butita, and Jan Salak will start things out for the Thunderbirds. Tucker Firth and Justin Bioni.
will be the starting defensive pairing for Carolina. Third line tonight, Justin Pringle with Lucas Rowe in the middle, Jacob Schnapp to the right. Matthew Bazarin will be the extra forward, or the 10th forward tonight. Vinny Susi will make his Carolina Thunderbirds debut tonight. On right to Vince, to his left will be Victor Grabinikoff who assisted on Blake Peavy's shorthanded game-tying goal last night. Peavy will be back on defense tonight. He'll be alongside his fellow forward defenseman hybrid. That's number 18, Danny Martin. And again, Cavalieri in goal for Carolina. Black Bears wearing their green uniforms tonight. Thunderbirds will be in the home. The familiar road whites with the script lettering. Take one final timeout here on our Honda Can-Am of Winston-Salem pregame show as the starters are announced for Binghamton. National Anthem. And then it's time to get this one rolling. If you thought last night was fun, buckle up. You're in for more fun on this Saturday night from Vision Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton, New York. Thunderbirds, Black Bears, coming your way next. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at Audi Winston-Salem.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena for game two of this three game weekend showdown series between your Carolina Thunderbirds and the Bingham Sid Black Bears. Brett Wiseman alongside you, Richie Pinkowski, once again, kind and friendly enough to operate our camera tonight. And heck, we've even invented our own handshake. It's probably been done a ton of times before, but it's all I could come up with in the time I was allotted to create an extremely elaborate teammate handshake. Richie's just waiting on the Red Wings to make a trade. That's what he's waiting on. Same starting line as we told you tonight for Carolina. Butita, Pastuka, Salak up front. Firth and Bioni on the back end. And in between the pipes, it's Mario Cavallari. 5-0 in his last five games. 167 saves on 177 shots against. It's a pretty darn good save percentage. They don't pay me to do the math, though. For Binghamton tonight, it's Yates, Yarwood, Mac Lewis up front, Tyson Kirkby, Don Oliveri on the back end, and Matthew Boylard out there as well for the Black Bears. As we get set to go. Everybody else appears to be ready. Sticks tapping on both benches. I think we're waiting on the door to close here at the opposite end. And there we go. Buck is dropped. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. Although it's going to probably raise your heart rate a little bit here in a few minutes. On the opening faceoff. Kirkby moves it ahead. Yates. And the left side wing, Mac Lewis. Trying to center that one off the back gate of Kirkby. And moved ahead now by Salak. Salak's pass picked off by Yates. Drops back off Kirkby. Shoots one through traffic. That one's blocked by a body in front. Jan Salak settles this down. Moves it ahead for Pastuka. Moved around the wall now and centered out in front. Kicked out of the zone all the way down the ice. A no icing there. Might have hit a skate on its way through. Icing was a point of contention last night. Is that stretch pass too far for Schnapp? And it will indeed be Justin Coachman. Number 72 that's in between the pipes tonight for the Binghamton Black Bears. As Schnapp is already discussing things with his buddy from last night. That's Don Oliveri. Vinny Susi's on right defense. He'll take this off the face off. Shoot one through traffic. That hit Keplinger in the back boot. Susi in his Thunderbirds debut tonight. We couldn't get the team seamstress here in time, but he is wearing number 26. He just didn't have a name on the back of it yet. Team seamstress because was a little bit, couldn't quite catch that Southwest flight out here. It's bottled up in the far right-hand corner. Rabenikov plays it around the wall for Susie. He'll come to it. Slam on the break. Susie moves it ahead now for Baker. Stretch pass a little bit too far for Keplinger. Regained now by Schultz. Oliveri's pass ahead for Lopez. And now in the neutral zone, poked in. D'Angelo's after this. Stick lifted by Martin, whose pass is picked off. Shot on goal, stopped by Cavallari. That was Austin Thompson that let that one go. As here's Ford over for Baker. Shoots that, hit a stick, and goes up into the netting and out of play. Eighteen twenty to go here in our first period and the first whistle of the night. And as contentious as last night was, expect the physicality and the talking between whistles to continue. Rowe is able to control off the faceoff tie-up. Taken away by Colin Fitzgerald and moved around the wall. Everett Thompson has it ripped away by Schnapp. Over for Rowe. Just barely staying on side. Centered for Bazarin, who'll glove it down. Cross side speed for Schnapp. Schnapp shoots. That one's blocked. It'll stay in play. Schnapp whiffs on the first attempt to get that puck back. He's tied up by Fitzgerald. Moved up the wall and out. Here's Brett Parker. Through the neutral zone comes number 88 in green, white, and black. Who's in a long pad save made by Cavallari on the shot from Everett Thompson. Rowe delaying. Moves this up the ice and kneeling. Fitzgerald comes to it and plays it back for Coachman. 
Both Binghams and D-man playing catch. We're watched by Schnapp. Fitzgerald will move it up the ice. Into the neutral zone it comes. Lewis, stretch pass for Yates. In the high slot, shoots. Cavallari got it. First real good chance of the game either side. As Yates, who really created the opening goal of the game last night with his speed, used it right there. Found some open ice, but Cavallari equal to the task. A minute and 32 minutes and 36 seconds into this first period. Carolina's got the defensive zone draw, moved up by Bioni, banked off the wall. Pastuka leaves it for Salak. Salak down the right side, behind the wall. Salak tries to shoot that one on the wraparound. Pucks loose in front, and it comes on goal. And the stop is made. Perth off the defensive zone draw, or the offensive zone draw, I should say, has control for Pastuka. Leaves it for Pringle, near side corner. Pastuka pinching along the wall, trying to hold this in. Big time rugby scrum going on for it. Salak is able to shovel it loose. Now it's moved around the wall by Yarwood for Yate. Yate pirouettes off Salak. Couldn't find his intended target. Moved by Pastuka for Pringle. Centered for Salak nicely. Here's Pastuka. Pirouetting on his backhand, trying to maneuver out in front, but watched by Kirkby. Salak tried to knock this down along the near side wall. Pringle had a shot at this, but it's worked up the wall by Walters. Ahead for Yates. Yates, far side. Dangles through a couple of defenders. Works his way into the high slot before it's poke checked away by Tucker Firth. And Pastuka will flip this up and out towards the red line. Carolina will change quickly on the fly. Oliveri fakes the slap shot, shoots through traffic. Now another shot on goal. Cavalieri got that one too. A couple of good chances for rebounds. Here's Dawson Baker moving in. Couldn't quite get that puck to settle down. She turns around on Oliveri. Keplinger has it taken away by Thompson. Moved out to center. Rabinikov for Susie. Cross feed. Dump. Oliveri will come to this. Takes a hit from Keplinger. Baker able to whack Thompson. Win possession of that puck. Back for Ford. Here comes Gus Ford. Shoots one, and that one's blocked. Schultz got a piece of it. Keplinger has it back at the goal below the goal line. Delayed penalty coming up on Binghamton. Ducey through traffic. Score! Benny Ducey! His first game as a Thunderbird, and he's on the board! How about that? Fifteen thirty-three to go here in this first period. Vinny Susi throw it on goal. Good things happen. One nothing. How about it? Lucas Rowe trying to move that in. He will get it in deep. Fitzgerald is after it. Fitzgerald behind his own net. Stick handling moves this ahead. Newberg will get it into the zone. Cavalieri back of the goal. Couldn't quite get it out. Fitzgerald dangles around row. Fitzgerald backdoor feed. Oh, what a chance there. Tried to go tic-tac-toe, but it was broken up. Not trying to move it up the wall. Boilar threw it on goal. It was tipped by a high stick from Binghamton. Oh, Bazarin's pass picked off by Parker. Missed. Oh, boy. Golden opportunities for Binghamton. But they can't convert. Here's Bazarin moving down the wall. Shoots this off. Back of the goal. Mac Lewis for Yate. Yate. Able to work through the poke checking and get it in deep. Taken away though by Firth. Martin feeds it ahead for Schnapp. Ahead for Bazarin. Bazarin will be the lone four checker as Carolina will change behind him. Yarwood. Moves it ahead. Lewis picked off by Butita. He'll kick it into the zone. Behind the goal, Coachman leaves it for Yarwood. Yarwood for Yates. Near side, Yates up the wing. Poke checked by Salak. Bothered once again by Butita. And a penalty coming up on Carolina. I believe we're going to get a tripping call.
Now John Butita will go to the box, and Carolina will head to the first penalty kill of the night when we come back. 13-58 to go first period. Thunderbirds lead it one to nothing. We're back in 30 seconds. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes. Move down in front. Here's a shot tip just wide. That one from Kirkby. Oliveri, far side. Yates. For Yarwood. Back to Oliveri. Winds up and fires. And that one's blocked by Schnapp. Yarwood back to it. Trying to go back door and whacked out by Schnapp. Courageous effort from number six right there. Coachman will leave it behind his goal. Moved ahead by Fitzgerald. He'll get it back. Cross ice, it comes Everett Thompson. Thompson, poke checked by Pastuka, makes its way on goal, and Cavallari will make the stop. 12.35 to go. Here the second period, first period, 37 seconds remaining on the first Binghamton power play of the night. But cleared off the face-off immediately by Carolina in the final 30 seconds of this power play. Fitzgerald through the neutral zone, drops it off Lopez. Lopez, left side wing, moving in, slammed to the boards by Bioni. Trickles out in front, cleared out by Pastuka in the final 10 seconds, and that should do it. With three, with two, and a one, Carolina's one for one on the penalty kill so far tonight. Not out of the woods yet, though. Fitzgerald trying to throw that cross ice. It's picked off by Butita. Moves it ahead for Keplier. Two on a one developing. Keplier, toe dragging around Boylan. Shoots on goal. And he almost stuffed it in. It looked like Keplier and Butita both raised their sticks in the air, thinking it had gone in. As Keplinger beautifully toe dragged his way around Boilar. But Coachman stuffed the pillow right to the far side or the near side there. Baker wins the draw. Ford drops it back for Peavy. Left side first. Around the wall. Ford comes to it. Wraps it around in front. Hope Luke. Parker. Banks this up the wall for D'Angelo. He'll move it ahead as Baker doubles back. Newberg on goal, gloved and settled down by Cavallari. Parker holds it in. Newberg up the dasher. D'Angelo pinned from behind by Firth. Fitzgerald 
bodied by Baker, comes free to Brett Parker, who takes a big hit from Dawson Baker. This one trickles out in front on goal, and Cavalieri will glove it down. 11.09 to go here in this first period now. Carolina trying to break this out here. Keplinger dances around another, moves it ahead for Ford, who alertly shoves this into the zone on his backhand. Yates moves it ahead. Down the near side wall, shoots it back of the goal. Picked up by Lewis. Moved around the dasher again. Yarwood comes to this side, steps a hit from Baker. Yarwood drops it off for Lewis. Lewis throws it through traffic, comes to Yates on the back door, out top Walters, through traffic, blocked in front. Kirkby shoots one, tipped wide. Yates on his edges, good again with that speed, as this is shot by him off the leg of Baker and out of play. Well, he's not operating the camera tonight. He's being a fan like he's supposed to be. That's Noah. Noah Freeman, otherwise known as Togaman. You can hear he is the only cowbell in the building. And he's also the only guy wearing a toga. If, if anyone else does it now, they're just copying him, and he should get royalties from it, I think. Thompson, a shot. That one blocked in front. Bazarin comes to this. Can't get it out. Picked off and moved into the high slot. Lopez, poke check back to Angelo, who tried to go back door back for Lopez. Moved ahead by Carolina. Bazarin's pass too far for the tape of Butita. Jolt. In deep as he returns from his suspension on goal that comes and Cavalieri will stop it. 9.57 to go in the first period. Thunderbirds being outshot 11-4, to but still in front by a count of 1 to nothing. We're back in 30 seconds. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at Flow Acura. So my apologies on the, uh, there were some discrepancies on the sheet I was given. It's Taylor Joseph that's in the net for Binghamton, not Justin Coachman. Apologies on that. Fitzgerald, back of the goal, moves this ahead. Thompson, one-timer from the point. That made its way on goal and it stuck in the equipment of Ravinikov. Moved out now by Pringle. Pringle. For Bazarin, his pass hit Pringle in the back. He'll try and regain control and reset the offensive attack. Four-man rugby scrum in the corner for it. 
Lopez trying to shovel it free, comes to Baker. Cross ice, it comes Danny Martin. Shoots right on goal on the glove save made by Joseph. Everyone in the chat needs to give uh, Richie Pinkowski a nice round of applause for his camera work tonight and last night. Both he and Noah are doing their thing tonight. Helping us out here up in Binghamton, New York. 1-0 our score, nine minutes and one second to go. Our second, our first period. Pestuka shot on goal. Shoulder to side by Joseph. Comes free back of the goal to lock. Throws it on net after a centering pass for Rowe was taken away. And now Everett Thompson has it poke jacked by Danny Martin. Moved ahead for Oliveri who skates around Rowe. Newberg. Off the wall in deep. Cavallari leaves it for Salak. Ahead for Pastuka. Pastuka flips this up and out. Rowe is chasing after this. Oliveri from Boilar. Boilar's pass dipped. The lock had a chance at that as well, but it's moved up by Boylar. Banks it off the far side boards for Parker. Parker looking for somewhere to go with this one, and his pass is blocked. He takes a hit up high from Bioni. Martin. Dangles around a couple. Skates around Mac Lewis now, and Martin will leave it for Bioni. Bioni chased by Lewis, shoved from behind. Moved ahead by Salak. Poke checked free by Oliveri. Oliveri shoots it high. Pastuka, they able to whack it out to neutral light. Mac Lewis hops on it. Pastuka will get off for a change, as will some of the Thunderbirds changing on the fly. Lewis at the red line, shoots it into the cross side. PV trying to get position on Yarwood. Worked loose out in front, it pinballs on goal. And Cavallari dives out like a rabbit diving on a carrot. And there's the thank yous to Richie. Look at that, see? You're doing a great job. Everybody thinks so. I agree. I'm with them. 7.38 to go here in our first period. Face off one now by Carolina. Off the tie-up. Banked up the wall. Ford will come to this. Moving into the middle of the ice. Kirkby. Down the wall. Cavallari will leave it for Peavy and Lewis. Wait, that's a penalty? Oh, you got to be kidding me. They're going to call Cavallari for tripping. I don't know what to say. Looked like he tripped off the side of the goal, not the goaltender. Yeah, it looked to me like his skate hit the post right there. Who knows anymore? Binghamton with another power play opportunity, but cleared out immediately by Carolina. 7-12 to go here in this first period. 15 seconds gone. Lucas Rowe is going to serve the penalty. Here's the centering pass for Peavy. Short-handed, and a shot on goal is stopped by Taylor. Joseph. Jarwood drops this back for Yate. Through neutral ice. Pass dipped. Gravenikov moves it ahead as Gravenikov for PV and Yates collide back of the play. Schultz drops it for Oliveri with a minute 15 on this power play. Moved along. Carolina with control at center ice now. A shot on by Gravenikov from the red line. Pushed aside. And Oliveri will try and break things out here. Watched by Pringle. Jarwood up the ice. Into the zone. Lopez lost the handle. It trickles on goal. And the save is made there by Cavallari. Six minutes and eight seconds left on this Binghamton power play. Forty-five seconds remaining on the power play. Rowe serving the tripping minor.
Carolina is able to clear off the faceoff once again. Six minutes to go here in this first period. A 1-0 Thunderbirds lead. Fitzgerald down the near side wing. Works past a couple of defensive Thunderbirds before it's poked free. And a three-man scrum for it. Kicked out of it. Comes free. Thompson tried to dangle around a man. That didn't work out too well for him. Now he's got it back of the goal. Watched by Bioni. Shoveled out top. Ten seconds. Pass partially tipped by Butita. Lopez down low. Thompson looking for space on his backhand. Centered one. And Cavalieri poked his goal stick on that. Out of the zone it comes. Rowe will stick lift the man from behind. And Carolina's back to full strength. Butita couldn't put the legs together and get that buck on the far side of wall as Lopez is into the opposite end and flips one high and wide of the goal. Fitzgerald behind the net. Moves it behind the net, I should say. Tucker Firth with control for Carolina. Peavy. For Firth. Moved ahead. Rowe. Centers it. The lock. Down the near the far side. Left side. Protecting that puck. Taking the contact as he always does. Puck is still loose. He's on it with Fitzgerald. Comes out top row. Could not quite hold it in. Four and a half to go. Row. Banks it off the wall and in. Row after it. Lays a hit on Boilar. Boilar banks it around Salak. Out it comes. Ahead it comes for Parker. Around Peavy. Peavy knocks him down and it comes on goal. And a save made by Cavallari. 4.21 to go. Here in our first period. Thunderbirds have a one to nothing lead, outshot 12-8, but the one goal advantage. Rest of the first period's coming up right after this. Wanna get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15... Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, Brett Wiseman alongside you. Richie Pinkowski operating our camera tonight on YouTube. Shots are 12-8 in favor of Binghamton, but the scoreboard on Vinny Susi's goal made it one to nothing. Susi's first game was a Thunderbird tonight. He joined the team. Four eighteen left here in this first period. Kicked around the near side wall and brought ahead Pastuka over for Salak. Took the hit to make the play. Binghamton's got control back in their own end. Coachman will move it ahead. Big hit right there in the corner as PV backhands this up and out. Carolina will try and get a change in here on the fly. Coachman leaves it for Boilar, who dangles around the man, but couldn't get past his opposite number, Keplinger. Everett Thompson, life made difficult row. Tom, Keplinger score! Josh Keplinger! He is on fire! Two last night, one tonight! Snipes at home, short side! Two nothing, good guys! Just an innocent little developing play. Everett Thompson lost the handle on it. And with 3.32 to go in this first period, Carolina a 2-0 lead as this stretch pass by Grabenikoff too far and it's gonna be an icing call.
Rowe gets the assist. He's the one that hopped on the turnover. And fed it over for Keplinger, who was all alone in the high slot. Picked his spot and did not miss. Oliveri throws it wide through traffic. Yates comes to that. Lewis. Yates was pinned up by Ducey. Backhanded up around the opposite side now. Yates and Susie battling. Lewis tied up by Baker near side. Yates works it free around Susie. Here's Yates pivoting on Susie. Getting an indirect screen from an offensive player there. Moved over for Kirkby. Out top, Schultz. Schultz through traffic. That one gloved by Cavallari. He had to look through a lot of traffic to see that one. And Binghamton's back to the power play here. We got a penalty on Dawson Baker. Yarwood drops it back. And they score. With 2.24 to go here in the first period. Binghamton on the board, it's two to one. Pringle off the face off. Moved ahead, D'Angelo. Pringle diving and darting through the Binghamton defense. Skates back of the goal. Lopez takes away. Taken away by Yarwood and moved up the wall and out. Peavy drops it back for minute 45 to go. First shoots it on goal from the red line. Deflected off the glove of Joseph. Peavy or Pringles in a battle in the corner. Moved ahead now by D'Angelo. Dipped. Tied up. Comes free to Peavy. Peavy starts the engine through the center of the ice. Delays. Drops it for Pringle. On the backhand, try to center it back for Peavy. And Pringle takes a huge hit on the near side, and there will be a penalty for that. Schultz is the guilty party. Just back from his five, then reduced to three game suspension. And the Binghamton captain is the guilty party this time around. He's got two for elbowing. And just got to look at the replay, and it looks pretty clear. Yeah, that arm did come up a little bit high. Carolina heads to the power play. Now here's a shorthanded opportunity upcoming and shot wide. Ford with a minute to go. 
in this first period. Power play side will carry over if Carolina can't score the next 55 seconds. Snap. Near side. Ford delays. Out top. Baker shoots through traffic. That hit a pad in front. And Everett Thompson will whack it down the length of the ice. Cavallari plays this ahead to an awaiting schnapp. Nicely done. Trying to feed it into the middle for a stretching Boutita, but picked off. Move down the ice, 30 seconds to go. A minute 10 left on the power play. Four. Over for Tucker Furt. Poked away by Parker. Recovered by Schnapp. Now Boutita for Baker. Baker, stick lifted from behind by Parker. And a move down the ice. Cavallari pokes this ahead. Firth will settle it down. Move it over for Vinny Susi in the last 10 seconds of this first period. Firth drops it back for Baker with five seconds. Keplinger, that is, checks the clock with three, with two, with one. Lost the handle on it, and that will do it for period number one. 38 seconds of power play time for Carolina. will carry over to period number two. Thunderbirds lead this one two to one after one. Shots 14-10 in favor of the Binghamton Black Bears. But the score is 2-1. to one. Good guy. We'll come back and break down this first period, take you around the rest of the league, and more on our intermission report. 2-1 to one is our score. After one period of play, Thunderbirds lead the Black Bears after the opening frame. We'll break it all down, get you scores and more after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you. I don't know if you can see my face here. There we go. There we go. Live inside the booth here at Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Thunderbirds had two to one lead after one period of play here in Binghamton. Thunderbirds being outshot 14 to 10. 
but they do lead it by the score of two to one. Vinny Susi, the first goal in his first game as a Carolina Thunderbird coming just a couple of minutes in, a minute and 40 seconds into the game, I might add, gave Carolina a one to nothing lead. And then it was made two nothing as Josh Keplinger scored after Lucas Rowe turned him over. Lucas Rowe turned it over to him after forcing a turnover in the Carolina offensive zone from former Thunderbird Everett Thompson. The power play goal coming after that at 17.36. Don Oliveri from Gavin Yates and Justin Coachman on the assists on that one. Ducey, Keplinger two, Oliveri one after one period of play here in Binghamton. We'll take a timeout here on our intermission report. When we come back, we'll take you around the rest of the league for scores. And more on our first intermission report after this, Thunderbirds Hockey. Engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you. Thunderbirds at 2 1 lead on the Binghamton Black Bears as we head towards the second period. 38 seconds of Carolina power play time will carry over from the Schultz elbowing minor there at the tail end of the first period. Let's take you around the FPHL now. 2 1 is our score between the Motor City Rockers and the Elmira Mammoth. Game two of that series. Carolina will see Motor City next weekend. Goals for the Rockers in this one. First coming three minutes and 23 seconds into the game from the former Thunderbird, Tommy Cardinal. Scott Coash made it two to nothing. Motor City at the 719 mark on the power play. And a power play goal of Elmira's own from Mo Justin Lavac at 10 25 that made it two to one and that is where things stand at the end of one 12 11 of the shots in favor of motor city to danbury the same deficit with which port huron was defeated by last night they trail by heading down the stretch towards the end of the first period three nothing is the score 
between Danbury and Port Huron in favor of Danbury. Zachary Pamelion handed a 10 minute game misconduct and an ejection at 558. On the major penalty, a shorthanded goal from Johnny Ruiz made it one to nothing Danbury. And then goals just a minute and 50 seconds apart at 15.34 and 17.24. And now a fourth goal was just scored with a few seconds left in the first period. It's now 4-0 Danbury. A second goal from Lucas to Benedette at 15.34. Ruiz is second of the game at 17.24, made it 3-0. And then a moment to go, Horns just sounded at the end of the first at 18.13. Dimitri Kuznetsov made it 4 to nothing hat trick. So good start for Danbury. Not an ideal start for the fourth place Port Huron Prowlers. Watertown and Delaware are doing battle. That's a two to one hockey game between the Wolves and the Thunder. Shots eight five in favor of Watertown. And they are ahead two to nothing. Scoring early on in that one, the first 28 seconds of the game, Trevor Lord scoring. And then at 340, Parker Moskal made it two to nothing. Thomas Delaney. Cut the lead to two to one at 8.24 for Delaware. That's where things stand after one period of play. Take another timeout here in our intermission report. When we come back, we'll tell you what's to come in our second period of play between Carolina and the Binghamton Black Bears. Thunderbirds lead it two to one after one. We'll tell you what's to come in the middle frame after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Triad Sweet Treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. After one period of play, 
Getting set to go here for period number two in the second of this three-game series. Now with an idle Columbus tonight, Carolina could pull to within six points of the division and league leaders with a regulation win tonight. They'll have 38 seconds of power play time to work with when we head back to action in period number two. As the final preparations are being made on the ice here for Carolina, the MO is simple. They're a little bit tighter and closer than they were on the shot counter a night ago. Keep peppering the net and keep making life hard for Taylor Joseph and make life hard for the Binghamton defense as well. Lots of good dump ins in that first period from Carolina, making the Binghamton defense chase the puck Binghamton got their scoring chances. We know they will, but Carolina did a really good job in that first period of being able to ham Binghamton in, but also use their speed, size, and skill to hold possession and make life difficult for Binghamton. Last night's first period, as you heard Garrett Rutledge talk about in our Coach's Corner interview on WTOB, Really clean entries into the zone for Binghamton all first period last night. Much better job tonight by Carolina. Again, they're going to get their chances, but Carolina was stronger through the neutral zone, making life difficult for Binghamton. About to head back to action for period number two. Two to one is our score. Thunderbirds lead the Black Bears after the opening frame. And we're back to action. For the middle frame, the period of the long change coming up in the second of three this weekend between the Black Bears and the Carolina Thunderbirds. Two of the league's top four teams duking it out for three this weekend. The middle frame of the middle game is up next. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from. 
as we get back to action here in period number two. Keplinger off the draw, 35 seconds left now in power play time for Carolina. Moved around the wall, Cavalieri stops this up with a goal stick. Rowe, stick handling back at his own end. Dusts off the puck and moves it ahead. Salak, near side, Keplinger, dangles around a defender. Works his way in on goal and a shot stopped by Joseph. <laughs> 20 seconds into the second period. Shots now read 14-11 in favor of Binghamton. Definitely going to take the draw with Pastuka, Susi, Salak, and Rowe on this power play unit. Rowe trying to throw that one on goal, blocked in front. Salak's on it with 10 seconds left of the man advantage. Keplinger, far side. Rowe with five. Through traffic, tipped on goal, and it trickles out of the crease. Susi holds it in, wires it around the wall as we're back to full strength. Salak hits the deck, back of the goal. Can't get control of it. Moved ahead by Fitzgerald. Schultz out of the box. Cross corner dump in, this will come. Martin pokes it away from Everett Thompson. Danny Martin up the near side wing. Shoulders off the defense of Thompson, hooked up a bit from behind, and the puck taken away. Brought ahead now by Kirkby, poked free, and Pastuka has control. Try to chip it over for Salak, that hit a skate. Binghamton with a chance to get control, but Salak recovers. And moves it for Tucker Firth. That pass was dipped. It heads into the neutral zone. Now back at the opposite blue line. Yarwood moves it ahead for Kirkby. Trying to chip it for Lewis. Picked off by Keplinger. Who stick handles around another. Boy, when you're feeling it, you're feeling it. Salak for Butita. Trying to chip that through the skates of Kirkby. Comes free to Salak. Pirouetting on a man. Salak shoots. Short side. Save made. Salak hops on the rebound. Pivots. Back of the goal once again. Below the goal line. Lost the handle. Leaves it for Butita. Trying to chip it around Yates. And Yates skates out with it. Poked free by Salak as those two collide at center right. Burt moving it ahead. Stop. Tipped it into the zone. Joseph had that nearly picked off. Stop tried to center it for Pringle. It's worked loose and moved out. Picked off at center by Butsita. Bothered by Lopez. Oliveri back Kansas in deep at the red line. Pop fly played by Cavalieri around the kick plate. Pringle for Firth. Trying to get it that to Butita. Eventually it does come to the Thunderbirds captain. Kicks across the line. Butita trying to center it. Pass was picked off by Firth. Now it's loose in front. The puck really moves quick here on this ice surface here in Binghamton, I'll tell you. Lopez shoots one and Cavalieri kicked the pad out and got the glove on it and got the whistle. 17-21 to go. Here in the second period, shots now read 15-13 in the favor of Binghamton. Top line, back out for Carolina. Baker, Keplinger, Ford, Peavy and Bioni on the back end. Peavy playing on events tonight. Bioni banks this off the wall. Jolt or I should say Boilar had a shot at it. But it goes up and out of play into the Binghamton bench. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Seventeen, seventeen to go here in the second. Oliveri off the neutral zone draw. Boilar works it in deep. Cavalieri plays it back of the goal. Peavy assessing his options behind the net. Pass for Ford is picked off. Now a chance by Newberg is picked off by Carolina. Baker can't get it out. Toots it on goal. Cavalieri will shovel it aside. Parker watched by Peavy gets it in deep. Bioni bodies a man up far side corner. That's Everett Thompson. Comes free to Parker. Newberg pokes it on goal. Cavalieri tried to get a shot at that. Takes a whack from Parker. And now a centering pass. Dipped wide by Bioni up and out of the zone. Oliveri in his own end. 
moves into the offensive zone, fakes the slap shot, shoots, blocker save, Cavalieri. Good stop there, far side. Peonia Baker inside up. Oliveri trying to go cross crease, poked by an alert Peavy. Peonia and Ford are tied up with Kirkby far side. Lewis enters the fray as well. Lewis around Baker for Yates. Dangles around one, not two. Lewis holding up Baker down near the ice. Here's Yates around a couple. Back door, what a save, Cavallari! Oh my goodness! A penalty coming on Bioni for the hit from behind, but Cavallari for the second nine in a row just committed a federal felony. Baker's gonna get called for the cross check. Trying to double back into position there. That's a penalty you can live with. Protecting the front of the net. Sixteen oh one to go here in this second period. Yates drops it back, Yarwood fakes the slap shot. Yates, Pastuka directing traffic on the PK. Yates through traffic, hit a body, and eventually it comes out for Kirkby. Yarwood for Yates, far side, trying to center this one. It's tied up in a loose set of skates around the wall after Gravinikov tied a man up. Firth gets it out with help from Pastuka. Joseph will settle this down with 30 seconds gone on this power play. Moved ahead down by Yates. Brought all the way down the wall. In on the near side. Yarwood a shot. That one stopped by Cavallari. Lewis has it back at the goal. He and Gravenikov for it side up. In the final minute of this power play, Yates cross ice. Ooh, Oliveri couldn't get a clean handle on that puck as he was setting up for a one-timer from the OV office. Yate, Yarwood, Oliveri, there's that Ovechkin-style one-timer. Blocked it off the top of the glass. Berth fans on a clearance attempt. Comes through to Schnapp. He'll chip it out as he is taken down by Oliveri. Moved ahead now for Yates. Schnapp and Oliveri came together back in the play once again. Cavallari's clearest attempt is picked up by Yates. Cross ice, Yarwood shoots, pad save, Cavallari! Now Salak is up with it. Head for Schnapp. Out of the zone, 15 seconds. Grabenikov alertly picks off this pass and will alertly shoot it into the cross side. Five seconds left on the penalty to Baker. Two and one, back to full strength. Austin Thompson through center. Thompson around Bioni. Centers it for Lopez through his legs. Picked up out top by Fitzgerald. Schultz, short side off the side of the goal. Schultz gets it back, tries to center one, blocked by Pringle. Schultz near side for Fitzgerald. Trying to go back door for Everett Thompson, but that pass was red and tipped before it got to him. Lopez. Takes a whack up on the near side. It's shot out by Martin. This is going to be an icing call. 13.27 to go here in our second period. That'll take us to our first media timeout of the second period. 13.26 to go here in the middle frame. Thunderbirds still leading it. 2-1 to one and being outshot 19-13. But the good guys in front by one. We're back in 30 seconds. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game.
Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Yeah, Bryce, get a shot of the mascot there. He, he does indeed have it hot for teacher. And for those of you at home, that's a band called Van Halen. For the children, that is. It's a fantastic music video, too. It's very 80s if you've never seen it, even though I wasn't born then. Moved around the wall by Everett Thompson. Brett Parker takes a whack, loses the handle on the puck. Off the icing call, picked off now by Newberg, who shoots it wide. Jolt picks it up far side point for Newberg. Pass picked off, looking for Schultz, picked off by Salak, who's knocked down. Pringle tries to recover. It comes back for Baker. Now Everett Thompson moves it ahead for Brett Parker. Cavallari out of his net to cut down the angle, and it moves it around the wall. Salak, shouldering off a defender. Takes a hit, makes the play, though. Pringle picked it up, but he was offside. 12.49 to go now. As Bazarin heads out with Ford and row. Draw one by Binghamton. Schultz off the wall. Fitzgerald couldn't get it into the zone. Schultz will whack it deep. Rabenikoff. Tied up along the near side boards. Shoveled out by Ford. Now Kirkby's got it. Cross ice it comes. Schultz tried to throw it through the crease, but no one was there. Rabenikoff picked off the pass. He's able to get it out. All the way down, this should be an icing call on Carolina, and it will be 12-22 to go here in the second. Kirkby will take the draw. Tied up with Ford, it comes free to Grabenikov. Susi trying to get a hold of it. Who scored in his first game as a Thunderbird tonight. Kirkby works it loose from Cavallari, who was trying to cover it. And now this one's tipped wide. Fitzgerald for Kirkby. Poked away by Ford. Ford stick handles it. And it trickles on goal. And now Cavallari is able to get the whistle that he tried to get moments ago. Eleven fifty nine to go here in our second period. Cavalry stopped eighteen of nineteen thus far. Lopez will take the draw. One by him. Fitzgerald comes to it. Back of the goal, Lopez. Trying to center it for Fitzgerald. That one hit a body in front. Lopez trying to center it now. Boilar threw one in front. That was tipped wide. Knopf plays this back for Baker. Too far back for him. Thompson's pass now picked off by Keplinger. As neither team can seem to get a clean handle on this. Firth trying to turn that over. Lopez out to neutralize. Where it's regained by Peavy. For Keplinger, dusts it off to the left for Peavy. Peavy drops it back for Keplinger. Working his way around Lopez. Keplinger through the neutral zone. Dips it past Boilar. Keplinger out top. Kick to Baker. Baker to Schnapp at the slot. One timer tipped just wide. Firth on the loose buck. Peavy through traffic on goal. Joseph was able to get out far enough to see that one. But he makes the stop with 10.59 to go. For all of you asking, Togaman is here. 
He's actually just sitting below our boot. He went with the red toga tonight. Probably a, probably a good idea. Butita wins the draw. Can't get control though. Brett Parker on the far side. Moves it back of the goal for Coachman. Coachman pushes it ahead. Parker and Bioni in a foot race for it. And icing is called as Parker did not quite have the foot race one in time. So offensive zone draw coming for Carolina. 10.41 to go here in the second. Butita drops it back. Pastuka shot. That one blocked. It's tied up in skate. Still loose out the high slot. And Butita is able to hop on a pinballing buck. Drop it for Martin, who tries to get it in deep, took a hard hit. And now Binghamton's got a two-on-one the other way. Thompson tipped by Parker wide. Newberg can't hold it in as Pastuka was pinching on the wall. Yarwood knocked out of midair by Salak. Pastuka backhanded over for Martin. Slams on the brakes, and it's poked back for Bioni. Bioni starts the engine, dangles around Parker, gets it in deep. Salak. Heading after this is a lone four checker. Rowe off the bench now. Centering pass picked off by Bioni. He'll shoot one. That one blocked. The lock for Bioni. For Lucas Rowe. He'll delay out top. Shoot one through traffic. Joseph made the stop. And it got down the length of the ice. This will be an icing call. With 9.38 to go in the second period. Offensive zone draw coming for Carolina. Thunderbirds still lead it two to one. More second period action coming up right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena as the ice crew scoops the snow up and off. Vinny Susie's back out on the ice for Carolina. He's got one of the two goals tonight. Is on a delayed penalty back in the first period. He popped one home through traffic in his Thunderbird debut. Nine thirty-eight to go here in the middle frame. It's Susie with Firth on the back end. Baker, Ford, and Rowe are the five on the ice after the icing call before the break. Baker's tied up on the draw, held in by Firth. Here's Susie, holds it in. Watches it cross side. Rowe fanned on the pass. Still not out. Susie holds it in with his left skate. Baker near side corner. Centers it for four and shoots one that's blocked. Yarwood trying to start the engine up the ice. Takes the shoulder from Rowe. Newberg gets it in deep. Moved ahead now. Binghamton was changing. Here's Lucas Rowe. Moving in. Shoots. Misses just far side. Almost caught Binghamton napping. Baker for Ford, he'll work his way in. Ford has it poked away from behind. Gets it back on the backhand, shoots it on goal. And Joseph made the stop. Great individual effort right there by Ford. Create a scoring chance, one on three. Nine minutes and two seconds to go here in the second period. Pringle wins the draw. Salak drops it back for Benikoff. Peavy through traffic, blocked in front. Pastuka hops on it. Rabenikoff tipped in front. 
Didn't get on goal. Pastuka shoots it on. Salak got a shot at the rebound. Pastuka can't keep it in. He's knocked down. Mac Lewis brings it out. Yate drops it back for Schultz. Schultz shoots and misses high. Off the kick plate, it comes to Kirkby. Flat pass to the cross side for Yate. Yate moving his way back towards the point. Slams on the brakes. Because he's put his edge work on display here in the last two nights. Yate again working on Salak. Protects the puck from him. Around the wall, Peavy almost picked it off. Yates backhanded over top of pinching Preventikoff, and he missed high. Pastuka moves it ahead for Salak, whose pass hit a man in the skate. And now it's picked up again by Jan. Moved ahead for Pastuka. Dropped off for Pringle. Pringle centers it for Salak. Picked up by Pastuka. Shoots one wide. Peavy hops on it. Down the wall. Salak leaves it for Pringle. Pringle off the back of the goal, protecting it on his backhand, pivot to the forehand, trying to center it for Schnapp, hit him in the skate. Peavy for Martin, fakes a slap shot, goes around the wall. Pringle takes a hit from Schultz. Salak trying to protect that puck, it's moved up around the wall. Peavy will double back as it comes to Thompson. Schnapp with a big hit far side. Martin gets it into the zone. Joseph has to protect this from Martin. For Schultz. And now flipped up and out by Oliveri. Love down at center by Bioni. Hooked up from behind. Nothing coming from it. Schultz takes a hit from Bazarin. Utina will come to it far side. Tip it back of the goal. Seven minutes to go here in the second period. Bazarin almost forced a turnover. Oliveri for Thompson. Bothered by Martin. And now D'Angelo bustled it in on goal. And Cavallari is able to cover it. 6.52 to go. Haven't th seen things boil over physically as they did last night. The longer this game goes on, the shorter the tempers between two very evenly matched teams. It's been a playoff-like atmosphere in the barn both nights. And it's been playoff-like hockey these last two nights as well. Newberg, I believe, is going to be kicked out of the dock. To the Thor former Thunderbird Thompson. And now Thompson's removed for Brett Parker. Carolina wins the draw. That's Keplinger that does. Moved around the wall. Not out, though. Comes down below the goal line. Bioni backhands it away from Thompson for Martin. Moved ahead by Martin for Butita. Stretch pass too far for Keplinger as he had to duck, and that one hit the stanchion next to the Carolina bench. 6.40 to go. Here in the middle frame. Utsita wins the draw. Schnapp on the backhand takes a big hit from Everett Thompson, but he gets it in deep. Schnapp leveled again by Thompson on a reverse hit. Keplinger trying to center that one. Could not. Those two are not afraid to mix it up. Brett Parker shoots that one blocker to side by Cavallari. There's a shot from the point that's gloved by Cavallari. Newberg is the one who let that one rip. Crowd came alive after that series of physical confrontations. Carolina wins the draw into the defensive zone. But Binghamton has control and a penalty coming up on Dawson Baker here as the touch will be made by Rowe.
Tripping is the call. Again, not one where much was seen. Shots are 23-17 in favor of Binghamton. Let's see the replay here. You could make an argument on either side for that call, honestly. Baker was trying to tie his man up from behind, and it was inadvertent. But penalties call, Oliveri. Over for Yarwood. Now Yates moves it into the middle. Poked out to the wide side. Oliveri shoots through traffic. That one got on goal. Cavalieri made the stop, and Schnapp is able to recover it. Tied up back of the net. Kirkby out top. Yarwood, a one-timer, blocked by Schnapp. He wears it, and it comes to Peavy. Ahead for Schnapp, back for Peavy, shorthanded. Peavy shoots, Joseph makes the stop. Leaves it for Yates. Takes a whack from Schnapp. Final 5.20 of this second period. Yates maneuvers it along. Yates trying to poke check that around, or dangle it around Peavy, Peavy but he poke checked it away. Buck is still loose and free in the Binghamton zone. Yates. Delaying, shoots, that one tipped wide and high. And the whistle does go as I believe, thought that one did go out of play. Saw the netting move over there on the near side and it did. 4.59 to go here in our second period. And 59 seconds remaining on the Binghamton power play. Four second period action coming up. All right, after this, Thunderbirds lead it two to one. Down the stretch in the second after this. We're back in 30 seconds. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brent Wiseman alongside you. Bryce French is operating our camera on Thunderbirds TV tonight. Doing a whale of a job, I might add. as the KISS cam is on board here. Yeah, Bryce is gonna give me a little peck on the cheek here in a second. No, we're going lips, are we? We're going lips, okay. Lopez set to take the draw. I tried to keep a straight face in that entire conversation, but I couldn't. Martin and Schnapp are entangled with a pair of Black Bears near side corner. Lopez moves it out to the cross side. Austin Topton out top it comes. Schultz, one timer blocked by Schnapp. Work down low. Lopez scores! And we're tied. The innocent little shot, short side. 4.38 to go. Binghamton's tied the game at two. Brand new game. Martin back for Bioni. Plays it back across for Martin. Dropped back and moved ahead. Chad Lopez with the goal. Pringle, tied up, 
near side. And it's moved out by Binghamton. Martin. Up the near side, he comes, under four minutes to go. Martin moves back of the goal. Centers is out in front, Salak, yawning wide open, Cage, it's loose. Penalty upcoming on Binghamton, and now they blow the whistle. It didn't look like there was a clear touch from Binghamton. But the whistle goes. Nonetheless, Carolina's going to get a power play out of it. Three forty-two to go. Carolina has control, Rowe. And the whistle goes on that. 3.30 to go. And now involvement out in front of the net. Schnapp is gonna go off. So 12 seconds into the power play. It's nullified. Three and a half to go exactly. And wait a minute. We have a four on three power play upcoming? Or no, it's gonna remain five on four. Interesting, Oliveri just went off as well. Here's Susie out top. Drops it back for Baker. Baker, Ford, looking back door. High slot, Baker, shoots. That one blocked in front. Rowe. On it, Keplinger poked it back out top. Susie down low, Ford out above the hash marks. Centers it for Baker, shoots, save made, and Keplinger had a yawning cage, but it hit a body. Susie out top, dusts off the puck. High slot Baker fakes the shot. Rowe trying to go back door, that one tipped on goal. Kirkby. was tripped up, there's a penalty coming on Binghamton as they'll make the tie. Newberg's gonna make his case, but he's gonna go off. Then the arm had gone up for the penalty on Newberg just as Rowe and Kirkby came together. There's a look at Noah the Toga, man. It, it's pretty easy to pick him out of a crowd. There are three. Count them three, Black Bears in the penalty box. Schnapp is barking at two of them. Literally 
2.41 to go. The five on three here. Out top, Susie for Ford. Back for Susie. Rowe, Susie, Ford, delaying, dusting. Outside the dot, Baker. Watch spots with Ford. Susie touches it back for Baker. Baker watching, delaying, Rowe, poke checked away. Baker recovers. Ford leaves it for Rowe. Near side, Rowe centers it. Baker shoots, blocker or pad of the side, I should say. Ford, two minutes to go. Ford fakes the shot, back to a row, shoots, pad stop, Joseph. Rowe out top, and Kepler, amazing job to hold that in. Delaying, back four feed for Ford. Ford looking, out top. Susie down low for Kepler. Back for Susie. first penalty's over. Rowe, Ford, back toward, score! Tipped in by Dawson Baker! Carolina leads it, three to two. What a play, back door for the Baker. How about it? There you hear Noah. Minute and a half to go here in this second period. Yates pirouetting and pirouetting away from Pastuka. Now that's worked free by Pringle. Pringle trying to center one. Carolina still attacking here. We're back to even strength. Martin. Schultz. Joseph almost had it taken away back of his own goal. Parker out to center with a minute to go. Martin, cross corner dump. Yates tied up by Pringle, able to work it loose. Turnover forced nearly. Now moved out by Baker, or Parker, I should say. Parker up the near side, trying to dangle around Salak. That didn't work. Perth trying to play keep away from Brett Parker, and will do just that. Up the wall, Salak had a shot at it, picked off by Yates. He maneuvers it through a couple of sets of skates before it's picked up by Pringle. Pringle starts the engine. Near side, Pastuka. Around the kick plate it comes. The lock. Trying to work this loot. Clear it out to center. Fuzita is on it. Fuzita. Right side, Pringle. Into the zone he comes. Ships it around Yarwood. 12 seconds left. Pringle takes the hit. Keplinger out top Firth. Firth ripped it wide. Martin will not be able to hold this in. And that will do it for period number two. Pretty good one, I'll say that. Three to two is our score. Carolina leads Binghamton. Shots are 25-24 in favor of the Black Bears, but Dawson Baker's power play goal down the wire there in that second period on the backdoor feed from Gus Ford makes it a three to two hockey game. Thunderbirds lead it three to two after two. We'll tell you all about that second period, break it down, take you around the rest of the league for scores and more after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. 
Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. After two periods of play, the Thunderbirds lead the Binghamton Black Bears three to two. Let's take you back through that second period. A lot of action during it. Carolina led two to one after one. Both goaltenders equal to the task after being peppered with shots on both sides. Dawson Baker off for tripping. That's where this period really took hold. Baker off for tripping at 13.59. And Chad Lopez on the tail end of the power play from Schultz and Fitzgerald at 15-22. Was able to pot it home on a innocent looking play on the near side that beat Cavallari between the blocker and the forearm. Right underneath. That tied the game at two, but Carolina right back at it. Events happening at 16-30 after a Danny Martin shot on goal. Jacob Knopp and Joseph Taylor, the goaltender, both assess slashing penalties. JT Walters went off for slashing at 17-19. Carolina had a five on three power play. Carolina took their timeout at 17-19 to draw something up. The five on three was unsuccessful, but on the five on four at 18-23, Dawson Baker from Gus Ford, who picked up his 86th point of the season. Baker's 14th goal of the season. Keplinger picking up a secondary assist on that as well, and that made it 3-2 to two Carolina as we approach the third period of play here in Binghamton. Take you around the rest of the league for scores and break down what's to come here in this third period. After this, three to two. Thunderbirds lead the Black Bears after two periods of play. Scores from around the FPHL are coming up on the other side of this break on our second intermission report. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you, not just keeping you healthy for the game, 
but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with 4Motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brett Wiseman alongside you as we take you around the FPHL for scores on this Saturday night. Almost through two periods of play in Frazier, Michigan, where the Thunderbirds will be for two games next weekend to finish up this long road trip against the Motor City Rockers. They lead the Elmira Mammoth 4-1, to one, out shooting the Mammoth by a count of 33-20. To 20. That was a two to one game after one. But Motor City hopping on the attack in that second goal at 637 from Nicholas McGill Diaz. And a goal just a minute and 59 seconds later from Declan Conway. Derek Makaba and Tim Perks, the assists on the first goal of the second period. Scott Coash and Josh Colton, the assists on the power play marker from Declan Conway after Blake Cudmore was off for interference. That's where things stand in Motor City, 4-1 to one after two periods of play. Things have gotten more out of hand for the Port Huron Prowlers against the Danbury Hattricks. Remember those three goals in succession by Danbury at 15-34, 17-24, and 18-13 of the first period. Made it four to nothing. Danbury didn't stop there. 6-20 of the second. On a five on three power play after Alex Johnson was off for unsportsmanlike conduct, or I should say a five on four matching minors at 526 from, for Daniel Amesbury and Alex Johnson for unsportsmanlike conduct. Dustin heading off for six at six minutes for high sticking. And then e Igor Borshev scoring, make it five to nothing. Lucas DeBenedet and Kuznetsov assisting on the power play goal at 620. Johnny Ruiz following on the assist from Kyle Gonzalez to make it six to nothing. And things just getting more and more out of hand for 
The Fort Huron Prowlers are out shot 24 to 14 and they trail six to nothing. Another six goal marker in Delaware. Things have escalated quickly for Watertown in a good way for them as they led two to one after one. It's a minute 44 into the second period. Trevor Lord scoring from Elijah Wilson. That made it three to one. Pouring it on from that point. Parker Moskal at 6-11 from Telstrom and Elijah Wilson. That made it 4-1. 10-26 of the second. Chris Corgan from Samuel Rabick. That made it 5-1. Don Carter Jr. from Trevor Lord and Lincoln Jinnerich at 16-19 made it 6-1. We'll take another timeout here on our second intermission report. When we come back, we'll tell you what's to come and what should be a wildly entertaining third period. Thunderbirds lead the Black Bears 3-2 to two after 2. We'll be back to break down the third period. Coming up right after this, this is Thunderbirds Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion, all wheel drive, and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. But shots 25-24, not as big a discrepancy on those as there was last night at this time or even the time of the first period. Thunderbirds have remained on the attack. And we have a scoring change to tell you about. The Dawson Baker goal down the stretch there in the second period. Originally, the secondary assist went to Josh Keplinger. That has now been credited to Lucas Rowe as Rowe adds to his point total. On the season, Gus Ford, no harm, no foul, or just business as usual for him. That's nothing more than 
for Gus on the season, continuing to pace the league and continuing to set a franchise record each and every night. Thunderbirds and Black Bears getting ready for the third period of play. We'll have it for you right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Brent Wiseman alongside you. Third period getting set to go. And away we go. Carolina's got control. Pass picked off though. Salak shoots that one wide. Now Salak has it back of the goal. Centered for Firth who shoots. That one moves up and out of play. 19.39 to go here in the third period of play. Yates trying to get it out, but it's held in by Carolina Bootsita to the right. Moves it down below the wall. Firth trying to center it. Picked off by Lewis. Firth regains control. Whacked up the dasher. Putita from the point. That one blocked by the stick of Lewis in front. The lock trying to win back possession of this puck. The lock takes the hit to make the play. Putita dips it out top. Martin settles the puck down. Cross point. Firth through traffic. Got on goal, but the save was made. Pastuka tried to hold that in, but it's picked off by Martin. Martin moves it down the wall. Yarwood. Banked up. Bioni banding on a pass there, but he's able to regain control. Moving ahead nicely for Rowe. Rowe shoots, and Joseph got that one. 
18.40 to go here in this third period of play. Martin through traffic once again, and that one on goal, stopped by Joseph. Just five seconds off the clock. Fioni whacks this off the draw. That one's tipped wide. Pringle, far side corner, chipped loose. Thompson banks it up the wall. Martin from the point once again. And Joseph will hang on and get a whistle. 18-15 to go now here on the third. Pringle can't win the draw. Brought back by Schultz. Oliveri's pass was tipped by Schnapp. Comes all the way back down. Martin. Brought in front on goal. And Cavallari alertly had to get out on top of that one. Another innocent little developing play that turned into something. Offensive zone draw up coming for Binghamton. Urbenikov's pass picked off. Up on the far side. Held in by Schultz. Hit by Ford. Schultz moves it ahead. Trickles back of the goal. Urbenikov. Hops on this, cross eye speed, Keplinger. With speed, dangles around Newberg, backhands it in deep back below the goal line. Up the wall it comes, held in by Peavy. Peavy through traffic, looking for a tip from Ford. He couldn't quite get his stick on it. Out to center it comes. Grabenikov over for Peavy. He'll hit the red line and get it in deep. Schultz. Back of the goal, bothered by Ford. Oliveri tries to chip it out. Gravenikov holds it in. No, no, he didn't. Offside is the call. 7-12 left. Face off won by Carolina. Susie flipping into the cross side. Walters around the wall. Kirkby moves it ahead for Yates. Yates picked off by Susie. Shot down the length of the ice. Will it go on goal? Yes, it will. So no icing. Fitzgerald down the near side. Works his way in. Stops up back of the goal, loose out in front, poked wide. Next stoppage will pause for station identification. Bank down low. Firth banks it off the wall. Moved up by Susie for Schnapp. Now for Bazarin. Bazarin slams on the brakes, finds Pringle. Pringle, skates back of the goal. Trying to go across for Bazarin, and that pass hit a skate and comes all the way down. Firth with 16.20 to go. 16.10 to go, I should say. Moves it ahead. Pringle picks off this pass in a neutral zone. Hits Pastuka streaking through. Pastuka dangling over to the near side. Poke free out to center. Pringle for Martin. Stretch back for Pastuka. Picked off. Now Pastuka's got it back at center. 
Pass over for Bioni. He's able to settle this down. Bioni flaps on the break. Outside Pastuka. Shot was blocked. And chipped up and into the Binghamton bench and out of play. 15.34 to go in the second. To the third, let's pause for station identification. This is on the Rotaki. Fifteen and a half to go here in our third period. Out top, it's Danny Martin. Rips one through traffic, rebound loose in front, and it kicked out of the crease to the point for Bioni. Keplinger trying to wire one on goal. That one hit a body in front. Ford trying to work it free from Oliveri. And cleared out. Lopez around Bioni. Martin has it. Back to the head. Looking for Bioni. Picked off by Schultz. And in front, Thompson. Had a couple of pokes at it, but Cavallari said no. Shots now sit at 29-28 in favor of Carolina. Newberg set to take the draw. Opposite Baker. Won by Newberg. Schultz whacked it. That one stung Ford big time. As that hit him in front. Schultz got top Oliveri through traffic. Hit a stick up into the netting and out of play. As now Thompson and I believe that's Grabenikov were tied up. 14.50 to go here in the third. Takes us to our first media time out of the third period. Thunderbird lead the Black Bears 3-2 to two in a hotly contested game here tonight. And what's sure to be continue to be a hotly contested third period, which will continue in 30 seconds. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Pastuka had a chance at it near side. Comes loose out in front. Brett Parker tried to center it off the skate of Pastuka. It comes around the wall. Parker blasted by PV from behind. Everett Thompson down low. Parker one-timer in front. Two saves made by Cavallari. Who's got the puck? Cavi does. And now it's a pushing and shoving in front of the net. as Cavallari had stopped both those chances. Brett Parker and Lucas Rowe are chatting. That's how we'll put it. Mm -hmm. 
Newberg set to take the draw opposite row. Newberg wins it back for Schultz. Across it comes Oliveri and out of the zone. Salak chasing after him. Schultz away from Salak. On the backhand, dipped away and in by Thompson around Susie. Firth, cross side speed, looking for Pastuka. Banks off the wall in front of the Carolina bench. Nice play by Salak in the neutral zone to pick that off. But his pocket's picked by Everett Thompson. Schultz ahead for Oliveri. Oliveri delaying, drops it back off for Everett Thompson. Moves it ahead for Yates. Poked by Pastuka alertly. Stretch pass ahead for Rowe. Ooh, couldn't quite settle that down as he is leveled by Brett Parker. Now Yates skates out with it. That would have been a breakaway opportunity there for Rowe if he could have gotten that puck to settle down on the tape. Opposite side, Kirkby on the backhand. Shovels it down the wall. Centered one out in front. Morton picks this off for Carolina. Gets it out to neutral light. Yarwood. Mac Lewis. Between the legs of Kirkby. Yates comes to this. Yates. Trying to pivot. Lewis moves it for Yarwood. Yates is back on it. Yates. Stick handling. Working hard on the edges. Out top he comes. To the left for Walter. Backhanded around the wall. Firth reads that. Picked up Kirkby. Here's... Yates out in front and poke checked away by Schnapp, who prevented a golden scoring opportunity. Bioni throws it on goal, kicked aside. Butsita, cross ice, it comes Bioni. Binghamton defender lost his stick, so it's five on four for the moment. Now they get back, get somebody back on for the stickless defenseman. Butita out top, Martin through traffic, tipped on goal, it's loose, and cleared out of the crease. Pringle almost was able to shove that one through the legs. Here's Schnapp, back over for Pringle. Pringle far side around the kick plate. Thompson picked it up for Binghamton, picked off at center by Bioni. Left side of Martin, down the far side. Martin stops up, takes the hit from Walters, banked off the wall. Pringle's got it, Pringle. Dangles around Yarwood, trying to center one for Keplinger, who couldn't quite get a clean handle on it. Moved out of the zone, Bioni. Stops and starts, banks it off the wall, looking for Keplinger, he's able to tip it into the zone. Picked up by Walters, Yarwood. Moves it ahead, Lopez. Thompson fanned on the pass, and that is an offside. 11.38 to go. So a 3-2 lead for Carolina. Peavy ahead for Ford. Here comes Gus Ford. Slap shot, blocker to side. Rabinikoff slapping one from the point. Loose in the high slot. D'Angelo works it loose. And Austin tops it. Bustles it into the zone. Peavy. Around the kick plate, Baker. Out top it comes Coachman. That shot blocked off the shin pad of Gravenikov. Keplinger trying to find Ford. Instead, it comes from Baker. That one poked at center. Everett Thompson and Baker are tied up for it. Lopez enters the fray as well. As it's a curling match in front of the Binghamton bench. Now it comes loose. Peavy ahead for Ford. Picked off. Brett Parker moves away with it. Parker skates in on goal. Shoot! Cavalieri made the save! And he'll hang on to it. Ten forty to go in regulation. Cavalieri doing the job again. Out of the zone at Gump.
Berth back at his own end, back of the goal. Drops it back over Vinny Susi. Susi, backhand pass up ahead, looking for Salak. Schultz picked this off. Head for Parker. Berth intercept. Perot. Pastuka pokes it free, hit the stanchion, and then hit the deck. Susi levels Parker. Here's a shot. God save Cavalieri! Oh, baby! Snared it on the shot from Oliveri. All the way down the length of the ice, this will come, but yes, it will be far enough for icing. 9.56 to go in regulation. Thunderbirds lead the Binghamton Black Bears 3-2. The final half of the final frame of this middle game, of this three-game series. For third period action, rolling your way after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Offensive zone draw up coming for Binghamton. Crowd getting involved. Held up along the far side wall. Pastuka moves it ahead. Salak. Down deep. Joseph moves it up ahead. Bioni. Row one timer from the point. Paddle the side. The lock. Pirouettes around a defender, trying to go through a set of skates for Pasuka. Now muscles it on goal. The lock out top. Martin settles it down. Pasuka dipped it low. The lock for Pasuka. Pasuka moving in. Shoot to that one. Blockered up and out of play. 9.57 to go here in regulation. Thunderbirds hanging on to a three to one lead. Pringle off the draw, can't get it. To the near side it comes, D'Angelo poked away by Firth. D'Angelo is back on it. Below the goal line, D'Angelo wrapping it around. Yarwood lost the handle. Futita hops to it. Turns on the afterburners. Futita shoots through traffic. That one's blocked. Pringle had a shot at it. Futita holds it in for the moment. Yarwood moves it ahead for Thompson, who tries to dangle around Grabenikov, who moves it back down. Icing waved off as that trickled off the stick of Yarwood. 8.40 to go. Here in regulation, Yarwood for Boilar. Boilar, back of the goal. It's Yarwood. Delaying, waiting for an opportunity to break this out. Boilar, Parker for Firth. Tipped out of the zone. Now, into the zone, he comes. Dumps it in. Joseph 
Settles it down back of his goal. Moved ahead now Walters. Everett Thompson far side. Drops it back for Walters. Picked off by Martin. Whacked out of the zone. Nice play by Danny. One on two. He comes. He'll slam on the brakes. Dangle around one. And now wire it around the wall. Good play. Walters comes to it after it was settled down by Joseph. Now picked off at center by Ford. Ford. Bins. Dumps it in. Walters is after it. Backhands it around the kick plate. Parker. Up the wall. Fitzgerald. Finds Newberg. Moves to the neutral zone. Newberg. Far side. Shoots high and wide. Brett Parker open on the far side. Fitzgerald lost the handle. Moved up and out. Wait, not quite yet. Martin. Couldn't work it free. Newberg does it. Shoots it on goal. And Cavalieri made the stop. 7.08 to go here in this third period. Shots now 33-32. Still in favor, though, of Carolina. Face off. Now picked up by Pastuka. Off the turnover. Two on one with Salak. Pastuka! Take it down, no call. Carolina, no, oh yes, there is a call. Yes, Cavalieri came out of the crease. Now, I didn't see the arm go up. Delayed call on Binghamton. The lock tied up. Touched by Kirkby. No, wait. There was no call. Cavalieri's back in the net. Oliveri for Yates. Pat save Cavalieri. Rebound. Loose. Oh, Cavalieri somehow kept it out. Now shot down the length of the ice by Bioni. Gonna be an icing call. I don't know how there was no penalty on that play for Pastuka. Held up and bear hugged from behind. And regardless of the name of the other team, that's still not legal. Just because you play for the Black Bears doesn't mean you can just bear hug people. Six twenty-four to go here in the third. Everybody on the Carolina bench was incensed by that. Yarwood on the offensive zone draw off the icing. Firth bodies colliding back of the goal. Bioni trying to shovel this out. Comes free to Pastuka on the backhand, moves it ahead for Salak. Salak through the neutral zone, picked off by Thompson. Carolina was trying to change. Lopez shoots, blah, pat of the side, Cavalieri. Butita with speed. Barreau drops it back, Butita. Heads out top. Throws it back at the goal. Everett Thompson banks it off the wall. Danny Martin left it for Salak, who was changing. Fortunately, he didn't touch it, or it might have been a penalty. Yarwood. Bodied by Grabenikoff, moves it back of the goal. Here's Martin, up around the wall, held in by Parker. Parker shoots, blocked by Schnapp, who's on this loose puck. Banks it off the glass, up and out. Whacked back to the opposite end, Martin. As Newberg came to it. 5.18 to go here in the third. Five eighteen remaining. Hold your breath and bite your nails. Peavy to take the draw opposite Newberg. PV wins it. Boy, he is so good on the dot, I'll tell you. Schnapp, stretch pass ahead for PV, tipped to the red line, but picked back off Newberg. Newberg, backhands it into the zone. Cavalieri heads back into his crease. Parker, out top it comes. That one hit a skate. Comes out top, 
Now picked up by John Butita. Butita, he's in a foot race. Slams on the brakes out top. Looking for reinforcement. Centers it for Baker. Tipped around a defender and now taken by Walters with under five to go. Drops back. Walters. Delaying, waiting to break things out. Stretch pass too far and picked off at the blue line by Keplinger. Joseph will settle it back down. Walter starts the engine. Looking for a passing lane. He'll just skate it into the zone, dangle around a defender. Walters slams on the brakes. It's picked off by Keplinger. Wrapped up far side. Curling match ensues. Keplinger's got it stuck between his skate. It's still not out as there is an absolute rugby scrum over there for it. Ford cross-checked the man from behind as he and Lewis came together. It's still stuck. And finally, it comes loose. Yates around a defender. Shoots. That one sticks high. Yates back on it. Delayed penalty coming up on Carolina. Tipped wide. Rebound off the pipe. Desperation time, the whistle had gone as Carolina had touched it on the delayed penalty. And now here we go. Kirkby lost his helmet. T and Ford came together. Tucker Firth is called for a penalty. Thirty-seven, thirty-three of the shots. We go to a timeout. Three forty-one to go. The final minutes of a hotly contested affair from Binghamton, New York. Coming up after this. This is Thunderbird Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. Sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Penalty is on Tucker Furt. The penalty was not on Gus Ford for the cross check. Within that scrum, a lot of times you'll see officials let that go at that point. We'll await what the penalty call is on Firth. It is for cross checking on Firth. At 341. as he was trying to protect his gold sender. Now, wait a minute. Hold the phone. There's a black bear in the box, too. Now, wait. There's only four Thunderbirds on the ice, so somebody else has to go. And Rowe is going to be the guy to go. Well, that's interesting. There'll still be a five on four power play. But there's two penalties on Carolina to boot. Face off one by Binghamton. Oliveri touches it back over for Yarwood. Schultz 
for Yarwood. Winds up, fakes the shot. Oliveri, short side, stops with the stick of Cavallari. Oliveri, trying to center it. Grabenikov, trying to dig it out. Tied up at the far side corner, four man scrub. Barton stops, can't get it out, picked off by Lopez. Lopez lost the handle. Oliveri, out top, Yarwood. Schultz for Yates. Brown wanted the call on that penalty, but it certainly looked like a bit of embellishment on the part of Oliveri. Oliveri able to dangle out top, shoot one, that one's blocked. Yarwood stopped up from behind. Lopez, diving play by Grabenikov to prevent a cross crease pass. Martin can't get it out. Oliveri, Schultz, down the wall, shoots, he scores. And that will tie the game. Two twenty-eight to go. We're tied at three. Salak so tips it into the zone. Two twenty to go. Pastuka's on it. In a battle near side. Salak. Pirouetting. Chipped up the wall. Parker. Poked by Pastuka. Trying to chip it around. Susi. Up the wall it comes. Salak. For Rowe. Lucas Rowe. Shoots. And that one tipped just wide of the goal stick of Joseph. Thrown out top. Bioni will whack it back in deep. Funky bounce off the back flat. Walter. For Fitzgerald, as Lewis tripped up Rowe, who's slow to get up. Rabenikov trying to work this free. Thompson was offside with a minute 37 to go now. A nail biter as we expected it to be. Shots now 39-33 in favor of Binghamton. Face off one by Carolina, now control regained by Schultz at center. Minute and a half to go. Backhand feed was off the boot of Peavy from Kirkby. Ford up the wall, can't get it out. Peavy for Ford. Leaves it for Peavy, a minute 10 to go. Keplinger for Ford, moves it ahead. In deep. Played around the wall by the goaltender, Joseph. Doubling back is Bioni. 55 seconds. Bioni delays long enough. Moves it ahead too far for Ford. Oliveri for Schultz. Under a minute to go. Played back over. Oliveri down the wall. Tries to bank it off the back of the goaltender. Now moved ahead. Gus Ford at the end of his shift. Couldn't quite get to it. Schultz. 35 seconds. Peavy's got it into the defensive end. Keplinger, head for Ford. Ford maneuvers ahead. 
25 seconds, drops it back. Keplinger shoots, that would stick to side. Baker hopped on it. Keplinger almost had a shot at it. Here's Oliveri with 15. Oliveri from the point, shoots it on. Cavallari will make the save and alertly come out and cover that with 12 seconds to go. And I believe a timeout has been called now. Binghamton has taken it on this offensive zone draw with 12 seconds to go. Cavallari has stopped 37 of 40 tonight. His counterpart, Taylor Joseph, has stopped 31 of 34. And what has been an absolute thriller again tonight. Binghamton's got theirs drawn up. Carolina's got their response to it drawn up. Twelve seconds left. Peavy tied up on the draw. It's loose down low. Seven seconds. Six seconds. Comes free Pastuka. Trying to start the engine with three, with two, with one. He'll fan on the shot, take a hit. But that will do it for regulation. 60 minutes, not enough to decide this one tonight. We head to overtime. Five minutes of overtime hockey coming up after this 30-second timeout. Three threes our score. We head to bonus hockey after this. This is Thunderbird Hockey. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, Brett Wiseman alongside you. Thunderbirds and Black Bears all knotted up. 3-3 three, three is our score. Overtime is coming up. Forty-one hundred in attendance here tonight, and they have witnessed a darn good hockey game. Awaiting the start of overtime. Rowe, Ford, and Susie are the three for Carolina. Face off one by Binghamton. Drops back. And Yates will try and start something here in his own end. Yates, near side, moves to the center. Down towards the far side, watched by Susie. Here's Yates. Yates back of the goal. Pivots on Susie. Yates. Protected the puck on his backhand. Knocked away by Susie momentarily. Yates kicked it back to himself. Yarwood. Back for Yates. 
Shouldered by Ford. Yarwood has control of it. Gates lost his helmet in the scrum, and now it'll have to be played back by Binghamton. Joseph will have to reset. 4-10 left in overtime. Lopez. Delaying. Maneuvers around Salak. Right side, Schultz. Schultz takes a hip check from Peavy. Works through it. Schultz maneuvering out in front of the net. Trickles on goal, and Cavallari will scoop it with the glove stick. With the goal stick, I should say, into his crease and hang on to it. A minute and 13 seconds into this overtime period. Peavy to take the draw opposite Lopez. Peavy can't win the draw. Thompson for Schultz. Shoots that one blocked off the skate of Salak. Salak and Schultz, two big humans battling for it. Peavy works it over for Salak, who pivots and moves it ahead for Firth. Two on two. Firth will double back. Drops it for Peavy. Peavy starts the engine up the ice. Drops it back for Firth. Here comes Tucker Firth. Firth. Fake. Keeps it alive for the moment. No. Taken away. But good recovery by Peavy to win that puck back. Three minutes to go. Rowe hops on with Firth. And Peavy, Peavy, near side, skates into the zone. Stick handling out top. Hangs onto the puck, he'll skate back out of the zone as Susie will hop back on. 2.50 to go here in overtime. Rowe, through the neutral zone. Around Yates, Rowe, contacted, fights through it. Rowe and Susie are back in the goal. Now Susie's in a scrum for it. Yates works it loose. He'll start the engine now. Two and a half to go. Yates. Delaying. Backhand pass. Oliveri. Shoots. Stopped. Baker. Trying to feed it ahead for Rowe. Oliveri picked it off. Oliveri. For Kirkby. Around Susie. Kirkby. Stuffed. Short side by Cavallari. And then Rowe shoves Oliveri. Who soccer flopped it. And he's grinning about it. He knows what he did. Here's a chance in front, Lopez, hit the bar. I believe that did hit the crossbar. Butita's up the other side with it. Butita maneuvers in front, hit from behind. Loose and Joseph will cover it. Lopez out of the face-off tie-up. Picked off by Martin at center. Nice play. Martin, two-on-one developing with Ford. Oh, he lost the handle on it. Martin's back on it. Martin for Ford. For Butita. He'll glove it down. Maneuver around. Butita skates in front. Shoot! Save made by Joseph. Ford fighting for position. Pops free. Binghamton's changing. Martin blows a tire. Moves it ahead for Ford. Ford, stretch pass, tipped. Couldn't get it to Butita. Schultz for Yates. Carolina changes quickly on the fly. Kirkby, watched by Salak. Back over for Yates, or Schultz, I should say. Schultz, cross crease, feed too far. Salak at the final minute of overtime. Salak, 
Here comes Jan in front. Pokes free. Centers. Pasuka score! 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 That's a winner! Yuri Pasuka for the win in overtime! What a finish! Oh boy, now we got shenanigans. Oh boy, wait a minute, here we go. All kinds of fighting now. Cavallari is involved. Babic went down. There were some discussions there in front. Joseph and Cavallari are parking at one another. Babic is shoving Yarwood away, who comes over to Schnapp. Now Schnapp and Yarwood want to go. That was a mass of humanity down here on the near side. Officials are trying to get control of this. Bazarin and let's see, who's that? Coachman. Are in a dancing match. Butita's trying to get the Thunderbirds off the ice. As all heck broke loose right there, now both teams are trying to get off the ice. to collect their equipment. Bazarin and Coachman are still jawing at one another. And now Butita and Rowe are trying to get Bazarin back. He wants a piece of Coachman. He still wants a piece of him. These two are far away from each other, but I don't think before tomorrow night they're done. Now Rowe is involved. First try to push him back. Boilar wants a piece of him. Butita's forcibly shoving his teammates Back towards the locker room. Now Gus Ford was talking to Kirkby right there. We're still drawing. Newberg and Keplinger. Well, how do you like that? We'll try and sort out what happened right there. But Carolina, the overtime winner. Four to three is our final tonight. We'll break it down on our post-game show right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting. A new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pinebrook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop. 
sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green, and play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples designed championship golf course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, wrapping things up on our post-game show. Thunderbirds victorious tonight over the Binghamton Black Bears. 4-3 is our final. Yuri Pastuka, the game-winning goal in overtime at the 4.05 mark of overtime, giving Carolina the victory, their second of the weekend. And Pastuka earning first star honors tonight. Keplinger earning second star for Carolina. Cavalieri spectacular in goal once again. Had to make a lot of great stops. 40, count them, 40. Dave for number 72 in between the pipe for Carolina on 43 shots again. We'll tell you what's to come of the series finale tomorrow. If the end of this one was any indication, fasten your seatbelts now because it's going to be a doozy. We'll tell you what's to come tomorrow afternoon on the Sunday finale. Like I see Binghamton Black Bears right after this on our post game show. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. After 15 years of the Share the Love of... Fitland Fish Brewing Company and the Carolina Thunderbirds are proud to announce the release of Five for Fighting, a new Canadian-style lager representing the passion and intensity of a scrap at the Annex. Brewed, produced, and assembled right here in Winston-Salem, Five for Fighting offers a smooth and crisp flavor endorsed by fighters and fans alike. Pick up a commemorative four-pack today at Fitland Fish on Trade Street or at the next Thunderbirds home game. Back here inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. One final time wrapping things up. Cavalieri stopping 40 of 43 shots tonight. Keplinger, the second star. He adds another goal to his total. His third in the last two games here this three-game series against the Binghamton Black Bears. 4-3 is our final in the game-winning goal from Pastuka on the assists from Salak and Lucas Rowe. We'll see you right back here tomorrow afternoon. We're on the air at 2.30, 2.30 tomorrow afternoon on a Sunday afternoon. And then we'll drop the puck at 3 o'clock tomorrow in this series finale. And if the ending of tonight was any indication, buckle your seatbelts now because it's going to be a doozy. For the entire crew here, both in Binghamton and back in Winston-Salem, Rick O'Neill, the radio guy operating things, our WTOB Radio Studios. Bryce French and Ricky Pinkowski tag teaming camera duty. And of course, Noah, the Toga man in attendance. Toga in full force cheering on the boys here tonight to an overtime victory. Four to three over the Binghamton Black Bears. Carolina goes for the sweep. Tomorrow afternoon, we're on the air at 2.30 on WTOB. And at three o'clock will be our puck drop also here on Thunderbirds TV. We'll see you Sunday afternoon. That's some more fun, shall we?